Virgo Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Julie here with your singles love reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful that there are currently scammers about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I will never ask you for um, money. Uh, I do not do personal readings. I don't have time, unfortunately, to um, do personal readings. My schedule does not allow it. Also, um, even if I did, I would not be charging for them. Um, I just, uh, someone once said to me, it's not a gift until you give it away. And that's how uh, I deal with my gift, okay? Also, um, I do not have a PayPal, Twi uh, tw what's the other one? A Telegram, um, Patreon. Um, I do not charge any money at all. Uh, so also I don't take donations, just to let you know. Um, and I also do not do meet and greet and I do not have a personal assistant, okay? So if anyone claiming any of those things asks you for money, it is fake, okay? Let's move forward, my beautiful Capricorn. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know regarding new love? Can you please guide them for their highest good? We got the Magician card. Capricorn, you're definitely manifesting new. This is about turning your visions into reality. Now, as soon as I pick up this card, I feel like you got a plan. But when it comes to the plan, you cannot plan love. So I feel like um, you're using your manifestations. I feel like you're gaining your confidence uh, within yourself, your mojo, your desire to uh, get out there and find new love. Um, and I feel like you're recognizing that you have everything within you to, to manifest that new love. But also a very important message is coming through with this card, that you are lovable, okay? So just in case you've forgotten or you feel like life has knocked you down um, a couple of times when it comes to love, you need to remember that you are lovable, okay, and that you are loved. Um, because I definitely feel energy being matched to your frequency coming on in here in terms of love, okay. Um, now we've also got, we got the moon card and we've got the empress card. Now the moon card is about illusions. Um, and there's a metamorphosis here. I feel like you're changing, okay? Anything, any false narrative you may have told yourself about love in the past, because I feel like a little bit of cynicism here, a bit of unease when it comes to love. I feel also um, an energy of, um, there was a time where you did not feel comfortable in your own skin. Uh, I feel like that time is changing, but I feel like you've had to do a lot of shadow work, okay? Um, a solitary energy in order to um, really look at uh, any fears that were within you. Um, and I feel like anything that was causing confusion um, or frustration, so whether that was relationships in the past, et cetera, et cetera, I feel like you're letting that go. I feel like you're trying to gain clarity and see things clearly. You're taking the, the I feel like you're biting the bullet really and trying to move forward without the past. Okay, I feel like you're really, um, you're not one to really look backwards. Um, I do feel with this card here um, that there's a lot of potential, um, Capricorn, for you to meet new. Um, but what I'm also getting here is that there's someone who has feelings for you already, okay? Someone that you... I'm just going to pull a card on that energy, okay? Now, just as I was um, touching that card as well, um, I heard guitar strings being plucked. So perhaps you're playing a guitar or you just picked up your guitar in that moment and it brushed against something. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone, but I heard like a guitar strum just all of a sudden, but stop. Okay. It's not like they're playing, it's playing a song. So if that was you, uh, then there's something in this message for you. Again, if it does not connect to you, it does not mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person who it does connect to, to pay close attention to the reading. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please clarify this moon card with regard to someone having feelings for my beautiful Capricorn? Yeah, this person's patiently waiting for the right moment to tell you. This person could be Sagittarian energy. They could be Cancerian placements there as well. This person, it's almost like one moment they're about to tell you, but then they feel like you will not reciprocate. So I feel like then they re-examine what they're about to say. This person's got... They're plucking up the courage there to tell you how they feel. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please clarify further? Thank you so much. Four of Cups. Yeah. 
this person I feel like this person um I feel like just when you're feeling pretty unfulfilled in terms of love, this person's going to surprise you, okay, and tell you how they feel. Uh, this person, yeah, I think it's it's going to come as a nice surprise. Uh, we've got like a stock, uh, like as you can see, this is the Egyptian tarot, just to let you know. Um, we've got a stork there, and it's carrying a message. This person's going to surprise you with a message of how they feel about you, okay? Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful uh, Capricorn? What else do they need to know? How would you like to see you? Thank you so much. Three of Pentacles in, this is not somebody that you work with, okay? Sorry, they just brought my attention to the fact that the stone is not properly on the cards. Thank you so much. Um, this is not someone you work with, it looks like. This is someone that you do not expect. This is someone that you... Now, let me... Yeah, this is someone that you do not expect. So this may be this may be someone who is um, either not within your workspace or it comes a bit left field though. I feel like it's a surprise. Okay, so let's see if we pick up anything more on the Celtic cross as we go forward. Uh, there's definitely someone who's got secret feelings for you there. And I don't often talk about secret feelings unless they really come here, uh, unless I get the strong energy. This uh, person may also have Gemini placements because I was picking up on a hint of... Um, um, a secret admirer in Gemini, but it didn't go that way. So perhaps this person's got Gemini placements um, in their chart, but they're not like sun or rising, uh, just so you're aware. Um, but we've got the Empress card here. This is the unified position. So this is the outcome. Basically, you're turning heads, my beautiful Capricorn. Uh, you are actually... Um, Quite a catch, okay? Let's put it that way. Uh, I think like all the cool kids would call it a glow up and that sort of thing. Um, when you got the Empress, this is about being a new version of yourself, you know, taking good care of yourself, uh, looking good inside and out. This is about, uh, you know, have, brimming with potential to uh, attract new love there. Uh, the Empress, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy. The Empress attracts. Okay, attracts abundance, attracts, uh, injects her creativity, uses her natural wiles, wisdom, style, um, also knows her worth. Okay, strong, healthy boundaries, confidence. Confidence is actually very attractive. Um, and as you can see, this particular Empress card, she's pointing at herself. To put yourself first is not a selfish act, Capricorn. Okay, in fact, it's a very... Um, it's a very good uh, way to be because you cannot offer someone a cup of love if it is empty for yourself because you're offering this is an extension of you okay so if your cup of love is filled with uh, complete love and uh, attention to self uh, then you can offer it and meet someone halfway with it but if it is um, filled with self-loathing or self-doubt and you know all of those things that's the cup that you offer to another person so when they you they receive that cup they're actually going to mirror that cup back to you so um, just be uh, mindful of that um, now really brimming with potential to find new love here but i feel like there's someone already within your energetic field that you know who has feelings for you okay so let's get to your celtic cross thank you so much for it guys going angels can you please guide my beautiful capricorn what do they need to know regarding single love can you please guide them for their highest good what is the present moment the heart of the matter lead we got an emperor and an empress OK, so again, depending on what you're looking on here, I feel like um, this is the emperor and this is about looking for a long term relationship, someone that you can settle down with, someone that you can be a power couple with, because it's almost like you want to thrive, of course, but I feel like you want someone that you can rely on because you are reliable. And I feel like uh, there's a grounded energy here. You, I feel like you may also be in business mode, Capricorn, setting up your own business or planning that, strategizing for the future there. Um, and I feel like you're creating your own destiny, okay? And you're looking for someone who fits in with that lifestyle. As I said, when I picked up this card, I feel like there's a plan, okay? But love doesn't fit in on the plan okay love actually comes in on divine timing so i feel like this is your plan it's like a five-year plan or something like that um and oh so all of a sudden uh, i got a little twinge in my uh little finger here uh that was my twinge okay but they really want me to make uh citrine aware to you uh, make you aware of citrine okay so if you do not have a citrine stone or a citrine stone however you play uh, 
uh, say I say citrine stone. Um, this is about success and it is, especially with this card, I mean, this is about success and positivity, bringing lots of abundance into your life. I'm not here to sell you anything. I don't sell anything. But if you've got your local store or get it online, get a beautiful piece that you're called to, something that you resonate with, don't just pick up a handful of stones. It has a call to you, okay? Uh, it brings a lot of abundance towards you. Uh, but with the lead card, I feel like um, you're taking a stand in your life and I feel like you're trying to... Um, I feel like you're trying to better yourself, Capricorn. I know that's an obvious thing to say here, but I feel like you've come a long way, okay? As you can see, it's almost like you've done a lot of shadow work and you're stepping into the light here. Um, and because you're glowing both inside and out and planning for the future, there's a wonderful energy about you uh, that is attracting, okay? So uh, what is the challenge in this situation? Because right now, all I'm seeing is that you're ready. You're ready for new love. And uh, what is the challenge in this situation? Can you please guide? Thank you so much. Clarity of belief. This is the Ace of Swords. Clarity of belief. Seeing the vision. Okay. So when it comes to love, the challenge here is, uh, you know, you can believe in a structure. You can believe in a plan when it comes to your finances and your career. But when it comes to love, there is a doubt. There is a block, a blockage. Sometimes uh, you may judge uh, a situation uh, in a certain way, uh, and by that I mean, I feel like there's a cynicism here, okay? Perhaps uh, there was uh, some sort of poor judgment in the past with somebody, maybe you dealt with someone who was unkind um, or uh, not honest, did not give you, all, you know, did not open up or communicate well, and I feel like uh, there's an energy here of mistrusting uh, relationships, uh, new ones, uh, also, there's an energy here of um, clarity of belief, knowing what you believe in love. You know, do you believe in love? Do you believe in love at first sight? There's different energies. Do you believe in someone to settle down with forever? Do you believe in that love, that one love? Do you believe, some people believe we got many loves. We, of course, we've got soulmates, we've got twin flames, you know, we got karmics, all of those things. So um, the clarity of belief, it's sometimes, sometimes you shift your ideas and your, your focus on your career. And then the next moment you're like, but what about love? And then you find that maybe you don't have much time, much energy, because you're leading so heavily in your career uh, that maybe you're not leaving time to meet somebody new or uh, talk to somebody new. You may feel like there's not enough time or... I'm gonna pull a card on this because there's also a butterfly here, okay? Now the butterfly is about a stagnant energy, you know, um, you know, the butterfly emerges from a chrysalis. Now, um, so if you felt like you were really stuck, um, you felt there was no love coming on in, that was on purpose. Spirit actually blocks relationships that are not meant for you. They redirect you in a certain way so that you meet the person that is right for you, okay? And when we got a butterfly here, that indicates that there is an ending bringing a new beginning. Uh, you're you're um, emerging a greater energy within yourself, okay? There's a new version here. And you're leading with your heart. Okay, but this is the Ace of Swords. So do you normally let your head lead over your heart? So there's a couple of questions there. I'm just going to, you will be talking to somebody new. Definitely. I'm getting that energy and you're turning heads. So, um, but let's clarify some energy that we got coming on in here. Uh, can you please clarify uh, this Ace of Swords? Thank you so much. We've got the stars. The stars are aligning for you to meet somebody new. Okay, but also you've had a bit of a test of faith when it comes to love. Because the star card is about um, sometimes confusion and despair and, you know, seeking the light after a period of negativity. So um, I feel very much like uh, the stars are aligning for you to embrace a new um, pathway. Now, this may be a new idea within your business or within the, your career that leads you down a path that opens you up to opportunity to meet somebody new. You're definitely talking to somebody new. But... And this is the but, okay? The star card is also a healing card. So either you're healing or wanting to heal something from the past. So I just need to clarify this energy. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's anger here as someone in the past. 
Now this person may have, uh, now Capricorn, it's not like you to hold a grudge or have anger at all. Perhaps you were dealing with an angry person or someone who went cold on you, okay? This is an this is a Leo energy, so this person may have Leo placements here. May have been a bit of an ego going on there with you and someone. Uh, they may have knocked your confidence and you're nearly needing to heal in this situation. Um, I feel like you're undoubt. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you, you, you doubt this person and I feel like it's not that you just don't trust this person I feel like I don't think that you want to reconnect with this person okay um, the world card yeah the end the world card you, you this is over okay and you're healing from this so that's the energy that I'm picking up on right now, okay? So you may feel like there's a lack of opportunity to meet somebody new right now or talk to somebody new, and you're doing some healing there. Um, but that's all about to change, okay? The butterfly is really signaling to me that there is change here, okay? Now what is below my beautiful Capricorn? Okay, straight away. <laughs> what is below you? Win or lose, okay? Um, let's pop that there. Win or lose. Now this is the Five of Swords. Either someone gave you an ultimatum, like step up to the plate, or if you don't give me what you want, I'm gone. Holding you to ransom, I feel like this could even be, yeah, sometimes verbally unkind, this person, okay? Uh, someone who causes a lot of tension, a lot of drama, a lot of conflict. Um, Deep-rooted feelings I have here is um, you may also feel like you've had to ask someone to step up to the plate. And Capricorn, I would never imagine you would ask them to. You kind of expect them to if they want to be with you. But I feel like there's conflict here with regards to, um, you know, it's almost like you're going to go in and tr you tried something out regardless of whether you won or you lost. You thought, you know what, I'm just going to dive all into something. And but deep down, I feel like there's a lot of tension here. Win or lose, I feel very much like You're leading with integrity because Five of Swords is about, you know, um, mental conflict and overthinking something. But I feel like you led with integrity. I feel like you were the braver person in the situation by showing your cards or something. And either someone uh, did not um, meet you halfway or I feel like they sabotaged the connection. Um, there's something here about the right person for you will be able to lift that sword, right? Okay, and maybe you just feel like you haven't met that person right now. The person who's meant to meet you in terms of frequency. The person who's strong enough to be by your side and walk through the journey of life. I feel like deep down you feel like you haven't met them yet. Okay, even though you may have been with people in the past that you thought were close. Um, but you're waiting for someone to really step up and show you. Now what is in the recent past? Refusing to see. Two of swords. This is a stalemate energy. Okay, stubborn energy, refusing to see. So let me just pull a quick card on that. I'm also going to pull a card on that five of swords there. You got, there's a lot of in your head energy here, Capricorn. We got a lot of swords going on here. So um, that's why I can see that your, your foundation is, let's just think about business. Let's just think about the plan. Uh, I want to manifest new love, but let's not think about it because right now it's just a little bit frustrating. Uh, we got the six of cups in the reverse. So um, refusing to see. So there's a return here. The Six of Cups in the reverse indicates someone from your past either refused to see um, where there was love, refused to see where you were investing in their connection, or refused to see where they were not investing in it. Um, there's an energy here of unrealistic expectations, someone living in the past, but someone really wanting to really connect with you. Um, thank you so much. Ooh, we also have... The knave of swords okay someone who refuses to change though it's so interesting this person it's almost like they come back on in for emotional an emotional ego rub but then you know they don't change their ways this person sometimes um they're transient okay now this person also likes to keep an eye on you capricorn because the knave of um swords is the page of swords okay the lurker of the the deck there so i feel like this person they try to find out information about you and then they come back on in and they connect to you for a brief time and then i feel like that it's not sustainable whatever this is this person may be the person who keeps you in your head uh, but i feel like they refuse to see where they had it good with you they refuse to see um what a catch you were I feel like they regret that now. That's the energy that I'm picking up here. 
the hangman. Yeah, they kept you waiting. We got the magician in reverse. Very controlling energy. Okay, this person. Uh, let's put it this way. This person. Um, they just they just hang around. They don't make any. There's an arrogance here. I don't, I don't really like to use the word arrogance, but I feel like stubbornness is more the word. But they gave me the word arrogance. Okay. Um, also, I feel very much like this person. They just. How can I put that? I feel like you gave a lot of time to this relationship, a lot of, and you surrendered a lot. You sacrificed a lot. They give me the word sacrifice a lot for this. And um, you did not get, the vision didn't turn into the reality that you'd hoped. That's what I'm getting there. It didn't go the, the way that you'd hoped. And this person just refuses to change. Okay, there's nothing you can do about that, Capricorn. If they refuse to change, they refuse to see. But I feel like this person, they know that they've lost out. That's the energy. Oh, they want that there as well. Uh, confront. Okay, so this is what put you in your shadow side. Maybe you felt like you had to go into a solitary energy for a while to really look at um, anything that um, was creating illusion. Because this moon card is showing up again. Okay, I feel very much like... Confront. You know, what they're giving me... Um, they're giving me a, whoa whoa they're bombarding me with things one moment please i'm just gonna leave that over there thank you so much uh so um i'll address what come first okay um the first the first thing that came was this is confront but then they also rearranged the words in a way that i mean they're, they're not all there but they showed me the word comfort okay so um i feel like there was a very um there was a time it's in the recent past I feel like you're coming out of that energy. You're finding that motivation to move forward. Um, but I feel like there was an energy of feeling alone, okay? And having to really look at things in a cold, hard reality. Also, I feel like something came to the surface where you had to make some voluntary changes, something that surprised you, okay? Um, but I feel like clarity is important. This, there's so much clarity. You're seeing things really clearly about where you may have invested your time. And um, you feel like, I don't feel like you wasted your time. I feel like your energy got scattered because of this person, okay, momentarily. Uh, but I feel like you're back on track. That's the energy that I'm getting here. What is above my beautiful... Oh, no, they said I haven't... Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. They said I haven't clarified um, the Five of Swords. Also, the what I put over here was... They give me the name Aaron, okay? So if your name is Aaron or dealing with someone called Aaron, um, there's something in this message for you, Okay. Uh, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. If uh, it does not connect to you, it just means they need that person to pay close attention to the reading. Wow, more moon energy. Look at this. There's some deep stuff coming up here, okay? Deep reveals. And um, the moon is about, as I said, an illusion. It's about um, things working behind the scenes and finding out the truth of what's really going on, win or lose. So either you gave this person an ultimatum, Capricorn, or they gave you one, and it really showed someone's true colors here, okay? There's a huge energy of confront confrontation um, in order to see what's what and where, where people stand, okay? Um, now, what is above my beautiful Capricorn? This is all the stuff that is challenging and in the past. What is above? Let's get some positive energy coming on in here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got success and growth. That's what I'm talking about. We got the Eight of uh, Wands here, and we got balance. So definitely, um, the Eight of Wands is an energy of um, you receiving some sort of communication, something that's very passionate, a passionate exchange there. Um, and uh, it leads to something that's about to be quite a successful union. So um, I'm going to pull a card on it because I feel like there's change here. There's movement forward. There's action. There's speed. Um, this could be connected to somebody um, revealing how they feel about you. Or this could be you meeting, meeting someone new because I feel like you've got, a, you've got a lot of potential right now to meet somebody new. Uh, can you please clarify this, this success and growth card? Also, I feel like you're... Whilst you're focusing on your career, your success and your drive, your ambition, I feel like that's when you meet someone new, when you're not focusing on love, just to let you know. Uh, we got the High Priestess, okay? Uh, yeah, the High Priestess is an energy of mystery, of someone revealing their feelings, okay? Of trusting your intuition. Perhaps you know who this person is. 
Perhaps you have a feeling. Perhaps you have a feeling for them as well. Justice. This is the love that is uh, divinely meant for you. This is a, the love that you deserve, okay? The justice is an energy of weighing things up, though. So you could be thinking about whether you try and um, find a solution with someone in the past or whether you decide that you want to move forward uh, for a, a new relationship here. Uh, this is about being fair. It's about an equal relationship that meets you halfway. Uh, it's also about learning lessons and being changed by the lessons that you learnt in the present moment. So uh, the High Priestess indicates... Um, trusting your intuition on this as to whether you want to heal something or whether you want to move forward. Now, if you were separating from someone, Capricorn, you may have been dealing with some sort of contracts or legalities there. I feel like it will be a very auspicious time for you, a positive outcome for you. Um, have confidence, okay? It's going to go your way. Uh, it's going to be like a win-win situation there for you. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Uh, we have the King of Pentacles. Oof, yeah. We got someone coming on in here who's going to really uh, be the one. That's the energy that I've got, okay? King of Pentacles here. Um, in terms of your business, Capricorn, you are going to be going through the roof financially. I feel like you've got the Midas touch. I feel like you're going to do really well there. A lot of sort of uh, abundant enterprising energy there. Uh, but in terms of meeting somebody new, I feel like this person, it's quite a power couple thing. Male or female, not a gender specific reading, but I feel like this person is going to um, invest fully in a connection with you. You're not going to, you're going to feel a lot of happy energy here with this new person. Okay, uh, someone who may have their own business as well, someone who's an entrepreneur or a boss type energy, someone who um, is a wise uh, investor in their themselves as well as their career. I feel like this person, um, <laughs> what I do get from this, I feel like Capricorn, this person is a sun worshiper. Uh, that's what I get here. Uh, this person likes, uh, they may be... Um, they like to spend, I mean, who doesn't like the sun? Uh, there's going to be people out there who don't particularly like to spend time in the sun. Um, I'm one of them, you know, as you can see. Um, but, I mean, I like to get my, a little bit of vitamin D, but um, I'm not one for spending long periods of time in the sun there. Um, sorry, they're just giving me a name. Now, this is a obviously a very famous name. Um, Kobe is the name they're giving me. Kobe. Uh, not Toby, but Kobe with a K. And obviously I know what happened to that beautiful, well, that person. Um, I didn't know that person. So um, I, I cannot comment on that person, but every soul I believe is a beautiful soul. Um, so, uh, but they're giving me the name Kobe. So either that resonates with you in some way. Um, it could be the name of the person you were dealing with from the past, or maybe you're about to meet somebody new, or maybe this is a person who's got feelings for you, who's about to tell you how they feel. Please take it as it resonates. It could be the name of a place, um, or it could be a nickname for you, or uh, a pointer for you in some way. So please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Um, that is for sure. Uh, but they're indicating someone new coming on in here that will lead to a successful blossoming relationship uh, that will go the distance. There'll be a lot of growth in that relationship. We've also got the patience card, balance. Okay. So as you can see, patience, I mean, that gives uh, you time to re-examine your priorities in life to decide what it is and who it is that you want. Um, and uh, they're indicating here that it gives time for you and the person who's meant for you to match frequencies and then come in together. Okay, as you can see, uh, there's a, a union there that is very harmonious. So um, this person may have very strong fire in their chart. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag energy could also, uh, well, I'm getting strong Sagittarius energy because of that um, temperance card as well. Thank you so much for it, guys. We have rest and reconsider. Okay, so that is a wounded warrior energy, Capricorn. Uh, you may feel like someone dented your confidence in a relationship in the past, and it's taken you a while to really regroup that energy. And um, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Um, oh, I love this. Okay, what is in the near future? Uh, so the Rest and Consider card is about uh, really re-examining re your priorities, but also healing from something. It's also about persisting, maintaining that faith in love, okay? Even though the world has taught you that love is painful, this is the energy that I'm getting right here. <clears throat> now, they're indicating someone's very thirsty right now. 
very thirsty. So if you've not been having enough water um, and you're very thirsty, there's something in this message for you. I just feel like you're off to get a drink. Okay, that's not my energy. Um, so if that's you, there's something in this message for you. Okay. Um, sometimes when we try to overcome obstacles, Capricorn, we feel alone. Um, spirits indicated you're not alone in this situation, okay? Uh, even though you feel like that wounded warrior, there's an energy of um, caution as well that perhaps that you were giving too much to a situation in the past, uh, whether that was financially or whether that was emotionally um, or in terms of your passion. They really want you to look at um, where you actually kind of um, invest your energy, okay? Um, and I say that because we got the Empress in the unified position, which indicates sometimes um, your confidence gets knocked, okay? But in this position, it indicates you've got your confidence back, you're getting your mojo back. And, you know, sometimes you feel like you're not enough, but now they're giving me a sentence which, you know, again, all the cool kids are using, but it's fake it till you make it, okay? Now, Capricorn, I feel like you're very much a uh, very grounded energy. It's not something you would do. Fake it till you make it. But you may have been trying to push yourself out of a comfort zone to really um, find that motivation to believe in love after a, a period of time of separation or a singledom. Um, and I feel like um, it's, it's, it's almost like you're near the top and you feel like, you know what? Forget this. I'm just going to give up. Spirit's indicating don't give up, okay? You're nearly there. There's just a little turning pathway there. Just up here, you've got, you You made it, okay? So there is an energy of persistence. And we got a little help from the universe here, okay? This is the, the wheel of fortune, being in the flow of life. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. But there's a wonderful turn of events coming here in terms of love. I feel like you're going to meet somebody by surprise. And yes, there is going to be someone else who tells you how they feel by surprise as well. So I feel like you've got a lot coming to the surface um, in mid-May through to mid-June. Um, thanks, thanks so much, Spirit Guys. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. We've got the three, again, they've got the three of pentacles here. This is not someone you work with. I don't know why they keep giving me that three of pentacles, okay? This is not someone you work with. Can you please guide me regarding this Wheel of Fortune? Ooh. Thank you so much. Uh, we got the star again, stars again. We got the hangman energy again, and we have the magician again. So you do have some choices here, okay? It uh, looks like um, the person who, ma the magician energy here and the hangman, the person who kept you waiting, I feel like you're not waiting for them anymore. You recognize this energy, but I feel like they may want to come on and heal things with that star card. This is maybe something that you're thinking about yourself as well. Can I heal it? Of course you can, okay? Uh, there's some obstacles to overcome, but be mindful. This person, they tend to manipulate the situation for their benefit, okay? I feel like this person is kind of immature in their energy. It's their way or the highway. This is the person from the past. So just be mindful of that, Capricorn. You're not a people pleaser, but this person, you love this person back in the back in the day. You may still hold um, feelings for this person. And they try to push your buttons. That's the energy that I'm getting. Thank you so much. The Fool card in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. I mean, we just got the same cards. I feel like they just came up, right? Um, someone who's um, immature energy. The full card. Um, it's interesting because they may want to heal things, but they may not want a new start with you, just to let you know. Um, I feel like this is something that you've given up on, Capricorn. That's the energy that I've got here. Um, can you talk about new, my beautiful Capricorns? New love reading? New? Can you? How would you like to see? Thank you so much. The Hermit in the reverse. Well, you won't be single for long, Capricorn, because this energy indicates, you know, um, you're, you're going to be um, not in a single energy for much longer. Um, and they're indicating, you know, not to repeat what happened in the past. Thank you so much. We've got the Four of Pentacles, okay? There's a long-term relationship coming on in here for you. Um, it's quite a surprise, um, but it is for the long haul. So if you're looking for a solid, committed relationship, this person may also have Earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo. Could it even be another Capricorn there? Um, I feel like this person is going to um, pop up when you least expect it. Thank you so much. Seven of Wands, okay? Uh, they're just indicating how much you're at your personal best. Okay, no one's holding a candle to you. You're turning heads. This is also an energy just to be mindful as well. Um, 
You may have protected your wonderful heart because someone hurt you in the past or walked away, quit a relationship, stalled on you. Um, that was not a reflection of you, Capricorn. That was a reflection of them and how they felt about wanting to be in any relationship at that time. So just be mindful um, that um, if you're keeping your wonderful heart guarded, which we all do after we get hurt over something, um, we're also protecting it from allowing new to come on in. So just be a little bit mindful of that. We have a wonderful surprise new person coming on in here. But uh, this is the near future position that I'm clarifying. Um, and we've got base chakra. So you're looking at what you have to offer. Capricorn, remember, it's quite a lot, okay? You bring a lot to the table when it comes to love. Not only do you bring a common sense, sensuality, um, you know, um, solid energy, someone who's dependable, uh, loyal, nurturing, a wonderful heart, someone who's very witty and very shrewd, someone who looks after their soul tribe, like, you know, they, they keep their, their uh, people close. Um, you got so much to offer. Sometimes, uh, I was saying this earlier in another reading, it popped up. Sometimes we forget what we have to offer because we're so busy thinking, why can we not find love? You know, um, what is the problem? Is there anyone out there for me? It's always the question. It's never like looking at yourself going, you know what, I'm quite a catch. Because it starts with self. It's not an ego. It's not an ego thing. It's a belief thing believing in oneself because if you don't believe that you deserve love Capricorn why should anyone else believe that you deserve it and, and uh, be attracted to you so it's about changing the mindset okay uh, easier said than done I know we all have doubts we all have those 3 a.m. thoughts where we're like oh my gosh you know I put on lockdown pounds or uh, you know I don't feel like I'm uh, ever gonna meet anyone because there's a big old pandemic right now how am I gonna meet somebody when you're meant to meet someone, Capricorn, you're meant to meet them, okay? Um, they gave me a, 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 they gave me like a story. I, I, I don't know this person, but they were channeling a story the other day, and they just reminded me of it, so they want me to give it to you again, Capricorn. I don't feel like they gave it to you. I feel like it was it popped up in another reading, um, which was uh, two people who survived the Second World War uh, both managed to get out of uh, Germany, and they met each other in another country, okay, in a gallery. And one was just standing there. They didn't know each other. Uh, they, the, one was just standing there looking at the painting. And then this other person came and joined them. And uh, they started talking. And then they found they had a common ground. Oh, you're from Germany. Oh, you're from Germany. And then there was a conversation. And both had fled the country um, due to the Second World War. And both met in a gallery in another country and fell in love. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And you got the wheel of fortune, okay? So I got true chills here, um, and I feel very much like you're looking at um, what you have right now in terms of your um, social standing, in terms of your financial standing, and you know, in terms of you being grounded. Um, so um, I feel like when you meet this new person as well, you just know you can see a future with this person. It's almost like a psychic bond because we got that third eye chakra coming on in, being hit straight away as soon as you meet this person. Your intuition will tell you that's the one, okay? It's going to be like a lightning bolt, love at first sight. Now, you may not believe in love at first sight, but you will. Uh, I also feel like, as I said, there's someone who's going to reveal feelings for you. But I, I just, I'm going to clarify this base chakra and this third eye chakra because I feel like we got the devil card in the reverse. That is about opening up and releasing your fears when it comes to love. We got the Empress, which indicates, you know, you're in a perfect position right now to meet the person because you're glowing both inside and out, male or female. Um, we got the Ten of Cups. Yeah, we got a beautiful love coming towards you. Abundant love that's like this person's all in. OK, this is like settling down energy. Um, you're about to meet the one. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Releasing toxic patterns. You're ready. Wheel of Fortune. Again, you're ready. This is it. Okay, so um, definitely Wheel of Fortune there, Empress. I mean, if this was a career reading, Capricorn, I'd say, and I think this happened in your other reading, I'd say, because you got all aces in your last reading, uh, I'd say get out there and put a, a lottery ticket on or something, because there's a, a lot of exciting energy coming in your reading. Uh, now, I should have said it right at the beginning, but I didn't call it, so I can't really say it. Uh, I was seeing two snakes. OK, uh, throughout the beginning of your reading, I should have said it, but I didn't. OK, uh, it was right from the lead card. Um, 
and I thought that snakes basically mean um, shedding skin, shedding, um, and rejuvenation, but there was two. So either this person has gone through something similar um, th that you did in terms of relationships and love and life, um, I feel like you're going to find a lot of common ground with this new person who comes on in, okay? So very, very exciting energy. They just want me to have a look at this card. I I'm only reminded by it because now we've got two snakes in this card, okay? Um, so, But I should have said it and I didn't, so I can't really call it because I didn't. They just show me how slow it has been for you to... You may have felt like you had a bit of a bad run of luck. When it came to love, you felt stuck in a bit of a rut. But that's all about to change, okay? Um, so, thank you so much, spirit guys, going angels. What are my beautiful Capricorn? What are they feeling in this moment? What is the advice they're giving to themselves in this moment? What is the advice that they're giving to themselves in this moment? Thank you so much. Seek the truth. Seven of swords. This is like more swords, okay? Being in your head. What it is that you want? What is the truth of the situation? You may be trying to... You know, finding, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of mental conflict going on here. Uh, Seven of Swords is an energy of um, normally about running away or withholding, okay? Um, fearing something. So you're, you're pulling back the curtain here, seeking the truth. Now, whether this is the truth within you, seeking your truth, what it is that you want, or whether there is someone else's mind that you could never quite understand and you just want to hear the truth from them. I'm just going to pull a card because you just want the truth of a situation perhaps to move forward. Thank you so much. The Four of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so the Four of Cups in reverse is getting a new outlook, finding the truth, seeing the truth, and going in a new direction with a new option when it comes to love. It's going to be quite a surprise for you, this new love, um, but I feel like the truth of the matter is you deserve it. Capricorn, you deserve new love. Someone who's going to meet you halfway. Someone who's who wants you for you. It's quite a power couple energy that I got coming through here. Um, it's really wonderful. It will make you feel like you're walking on air. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? Uh, this is the environment. Release. That's the death card. Endings bringing new beginnings, okay? Circumstances are right for you to release anything that's hindering you, holding you back, and making you feel like you're stuck. It's time to let go of any resistance or anything that's stagnant and open yourself up, make room for something greater, okay? Because something new is coming on in here. So, um, also, what is a hope and fear for my beautiful Capricorn? Hope and fear. Now, this is quite a nice hope here. So, we've got here... You're hoping to meet the one, okay? You're hoping to meet your match because we've got the emperor and the empress right there, okay? So we got a match here. You're hoping to meet the person. Um, the hope also is that you are your best self, and I can tell you, Capricorn, you absolutely are. This is about an abundant relationship. This is the, the empress here. This is about you being a new version of yourself. This is about you, uh, you hope to manifest the right person uh, who is healthy energy, in your life, a positive force in your life, someone who meets you halfway, okay? Someone that, you know, you don't feel like you have to always do the legwork for. Uh, your fear here is meeting somebody that you feel uh, depends on you in a way that you feel is codependent, okay? Or, um, you know, you also may feel like time is running out to meet the person of your dreams. You may feel like if you're a feminine energy that you want to meet somebody and settle down, have a family. Um, so you may fear that time is kind of ticking there uh, in, in that respect. Um, but know that you are about to come into being with a wonderful new love. It's quite uh, very passionate. Woo, you're going to be talking to somebody new, okay? So, um, oh, they want, no. Okay. Uh, they don't want one more from this deck. I can clarify the throat chakra. Uh, the outcome, this is the outcome position, throat chakra. You're going to be opening up and speaking to somebody new. This is a conversation coming on in here, okay? Uh, so throat chakra has been activated. Can you please clarify? Whoa. I mean, we've got that king of pentacles again. Beautiful energy. This is someone who's coming on in to invest, okay? So same energy we're picking up there, that king of pentacles in the upright. So someone who's all in. 
someone who's solid, someone who's sensual, someone who is going to go the distance, someone who's, uh, you know, loyal, re reliable, but also who's got their SHIT together at Capricorn, someone who's got a business or is in a good position within the community, makes their money, not reliant on you for money, or, you know, uh, this is the sun worshiper person that I keep getting here, okay, someone coming on in that's really beautiful. Uh, this person is quite blessed. There's going to be a lot of really positive energy about this person as well, just to let you know, okay? Uh, they're very generous, this person, very, very generous. Um, and we've got the Eight of Swords in the reverse. So this is, uh, Eight of Swords in reverse is, you know, hope. It's a new hope. It's an escape from anything that's holding you back. You will be talking to somebody new and there is freedom here, okay? Freedom from the past and a wonderful new future opening up uh, with somebody who's coming on in uh, to have a wonderful relationship with you. Looks like you're coming into being with the person that you're meant to be with, the love that you deserve, okay? My beautiful Capricorn, I will leave that there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. Um, and I'm just going to get any f advice before we close the reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Uh, we have dreams, okay? Pay close attention to your dreams because they're very intuitive at the moment. I feel like if you're wrestling with anything, um, then there's going to be some solutions found in your dreams, okay? And we've got surrender. Surrender is surrender to the process, okay? Um, if anything you feel is transforming, it's meant to transform. You're meant to be uh, redirected in another direction. Um, so if, for example, you feel anybody rejected you in the past or anything did not work out, rejection is God's protection and redirection, okay? They want you to win. Spirit wants you to win. The universe wants you to find your counterpart. So it's about matching frequency and vibrations and learning along the journey, okay? Uh, now I'm just going to go and get a Wisdom of the Oracle before we close this reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? Now, just as I was uh, shuffling there, I heard a, a, a woman's voice. I'm going to see if it picked up on the camera there. But I heard a woman's voice humming or, hmm, it was like, hmm. So perhaps you're feeling a little bit hmm about the reading or you're feeling a bit hmm about in general, a bit meh. Um, or maybe you're just humming something. So if that's you, there's something in the message for you. We've got time to go and we've got here and now. Okay, 45, time to go. Okay, as you can see, this person is running down this pathway to the door. The stars are aligning. As you can see, all those stars are leading the way, illuminating the way, time to go. Uh, also, it's the only time to go in the reading, so that's kind of nice as well. Uh, we've also got number 32. I'm going to show you in the upright. It's the here and now. As you can see, there's an egg there, which represents new, and it says you are here on that little flag. Uh, also, that uh, that sort of window is wide open, um, and we got past and we got future, but you got it in the reverse. So I'm just going to read the protection message for that, okay? Uh, time to go, number 45. Let's see. Endings, walking away from something because there was not an, anything else left to learn or experience in the relationship. So I'm just going to read the relationship message. It said, it's over. Or at the very least, this form of this relationship has taken... Sorry, I'll start again. It's over. Or at the very least, the form that this relationship has taken is no longer of service to you or the other person. This is a time of letting go, of knowing that the journey has come to its conclusion. It doesn't mean that anything is lost, although this card could speak to a breakup, a drifting apart, or the end of a soul contract that is more about release than destruction. Remember the saying, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, it's yours. If not, it never was. Endings are always a sign of new beginnings. If you want something deeper, walk away. Beautiful energy, okay? It's very hard to walk away from something when there's feelings, but if you walk away, they're so right. If it comes back, it's meant for you. If it does not, then, you know, you did the right thing. And we've got number 32, the here and now. 32, here and now, being fully present. Okay, 32, you get the protection message. It says, whenever you find your mind drifting into the past, wondering if things could have or would have or should have been better, or whenever you find yourself longing for the good old days, you leak your power. The same is true of looking too far ahead and hoping for the future and seeing what it will provide you with certainty. 
Driven by ambition, you might wander too long in a place with no substance and forget that you're here today. The past and the future are illusions. Whenever you leave the present moment, you're disconnecting from your inherent power to manifest your reality with true substance. Neither past nor future can give you what you need. Now is all that counts. Come back from those eternities and be here now. All will be well and miracles will appear as if by magic in the perfect timing of spirit. Beautiful energy there. Okay, everything coming together in divine timing. Thank you so much, spirit guides, or an angel. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know? Ooh. Oh, look at that. I closed my eyes when I picked the trinkets. Um, obviously, you can't see that, so you do have to take my word for that, unfortunately. But we have a guitar, okay? And I heard a strumming of a guitar right at the beginning of this reading. I think it was at the beginning of this reading and not Pisces reading. I feel like it was your reading, okay? Um, so um, strumming of a guitar there. So if that's you, there's something in this message for you. Uh, but when I ever, whenever I get the guitar, it's about raising your vibrations. So this, and there's also two stars on there. So they're indicating whenever you vi uh, raise your vibrations, the stars are aligned to bring you uh, what it is that you truly desire and what is meant for you, okay? They actually want me to put it on the balance card. We've also got um, a cat. Now cat is about being independent. But it's also about uh, loving yourself fully first before extending your wonderful love to another Capricorn. Um, cats, they got it right, you know. Um, they do give their love, but uh, they make sure that they, uh, you know, invest in self first, which is a wonderful act. It's not a selfish act there. Also, whenever I get the cat, uh, there's also a lucky turn of events, okay? And you got the Wheel of Fortune. And they just reminded me of that because they want me to put it on the Wheel of Fortune. Where's the Wheel of Fortune? There it is, the flow card. There we go. Okay. Um, and finally, we got the key. Okay. Now, the key to unlocking this all, we got the rose there. So the rose is uh, appears on the death card. So that indicates a new beginning. The key to unlocking your new beginning is to let the past go. Okay. Uh, endings bring new beginnings. One door is closing. It's firmly shut. You're walking into a new door, okay? Uh, walking through a new door. They just corrected me. I love that. I said walk, walking into a new door, and they just said walking through a new door. Yeah, because if you're walking into the door, then you would have hurt your head. Uh, okay, I get it. Um, so there, we're on. you're unlocking things there, my beautiful Capricorn. Um, they want this on the Empress card because um, the key to unlocking it all as well is releasing yourself from any old patterns of self-doubt or uh, feeling like you're not enough. Remember your wonderful confidence. You're glowing both inside and out, male or female, not a gender specific reading, but remember you have a lot to offer and you're turning heads, okay? Very important for you to know. Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. I'll leave that there. I hope something uh, resonated for you in this reading. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to win a personal reading, all you have to do is uh, put the word love in the comments box below, and um, I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber um, to win that free personal reading. I'll announce that winner on the 25th of May, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. Love and light.